Welcome into 5 Day Crypto. My name is Chase. I'm a level 1 CMT and full-time trader. Today we're going to do an update on Chainlink. We're going to start on the short time frame, 4 hour, and then we're going to zoom out to the higher time frames, daily, weekly. Take a look at the macro scale as well. High side targets, low side targets, everything in between. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you want more help navigating these markets, consider subscribing to our Patreon group. You get access to a private Telegram alerts group where I keep you updated on all the altcoins, Bitcoin daily updates, uh, market caps, stock market, everything you can think of or request is found there. Links below. Let's check. Let's get going. Right. Uh, chain link, four hour. We're in a downtrend, right? We have a high here, lower high, lower high. We're in lows. However, we're attempting to potentially put in a higher low. Right, we're trying to reverse this trend. So step one is to put in a higher low from 1670. Right, this is our support zone. If we zoom out on a higher time frame, you'll see this even more clearly. So anywhere that we can reverse higher than 1678, we're good to go. That's our step one. Step two, we have to take out a high. So let's march up the stairs. So we want to see higher prices in link. First and foremost, this high here. The second one, right? Just Keep it simple. That's the next high. So let's take our 1927, 2045. And, you know, then where's our next one? Well, you got to look higher than this, right? This will be our kind of our final uh, zone right here. This is what we're looking at to enter the stratosphere. Chainlink just needs to start closing daily candles, weekly candles above this level, and then blue skies ahead, right? This is a big hurdle. So it, I'm not saying it's going to happen anytime real soon. But once this level falls, consecutive daily candles, right? We haven't been able to do that either, right? Consecutive daily candles above there, it, it's go time, okay? Now, speaking of daily candles, let's get to our daily chart. Look at where we are now. We're at the 100-day EMA, where last time we had a little deviation swing down below, close right back above it, bullish engulfing, outside bullish bar, right? Eclipsing this entire total candle, the next candle, right? Great sign. So we're looking to do that again. It doesn't have to be identical to that, but we do not want to close multiple days below this 100-day EMA. And we might get a, you know, helping hand by the Bollinger Bands here, right? See how they're pinching up here? Likely increase, increasing our odds for decreased volatility, which is a good thing, right? You don't want this mouth open as prices start to fall. Then you can just kind of go down a slide. So here's our support. Why? Why is it support? Well, previous resistance, top, top, top. You can see we broke out through it, throw back to it, right? That's a bullish retest. So now we're simply looking to put in a higher low on the macro, which we're not there yet, right? It's too early to tell. But there's our high, lower high. Here's our low. So if we want to not, uh, you know, we got to avoid this downtrend or we're, you know, we're putting in lower lows. However, I don't think we're likely to go below the 200 day. Right, that's kind of where we would draw the line. Uh, maybe quickly, like with a weekly wick or something like that, potentially. But dollar cost averaging, you know, when your coin's on sale, right, is generally a good idea. Chainlink currently down 23% from the top. Many coins are down well over that. This last move down went about almost 30%. Currently, from our little swing swing up there, still down 15%. So still good. So what we're looking to avoid is you know hitting this right because that would be high lower high low lower low so all we have to do is avoid that so it's kind of do or die here for link right it, which is also going to kind of depend on what bitcoin is doing so if bitcoin decides it wants to capitulate down to 60k 58k something like that obviously link will probably hit this 200 uh and that would be you know a sign you got to watch bitcoin at the same time all, all these alts because altcoins are under the command of Bitcoin, at least this cycle, at least for now, right? So that's what we're looking for. Here's your four-hour step ladders, right? Remember, right? This is a big, big zone up here, right? We break this. It's it's Sergey Flannel ahead, right? Now let's go to the weekly. What are the potential hazards here? Well, I'm glad you asked. All right, let's first and foremost delete all the yellow boxes, right? Let's keep our lower support. That's still going to act as support, even on the weekly chart. You can see the resistance here for all these weeks, right? Even the wicks. So far, we only have one wick. We might test it again, but guess what? Our big support at the 21 week, this yellow line is right there at 1680. Okay. 
well, let's get an exact number on that for this week. It's 1669, right? Right there on the, the 21 week, okay? So likely consolidation for probably another few weeks because we closed this week below that EMA 8. When you do that, historically, with any coin, not just Chainlink, you're going to experience the next several weeks of, you know, choppy waters. And that's what we've done. Close below the EMA 8, close below the EMA 8, choppiness. Close below the EMA 8, choppiness. It's, it's, it's just a victim of closing below the EMA 8. You start to lose your footing a bit. Okay, so that's where we are. Worst case scenario on the weekly, we shouldn't be closing back below the 21 week. Most coins should not be closing back under their 21 week EMA in a bull run. They can go, prices can go below, but usually with just a wick. So if you're lucky enough to be in a coin that is going below momentarily below the 21 week, usually a good idea to add to your position there. If it closes below, it might be a good idea to cut your losses and get back in lower because your odds go way up of more consolidation or more downtrend. It should not be doing that. Strong coins are not doing that, right? Chainlink included in that. Chainlink's down a little bit today, but there's many coins down more. Okay, so that's what we're looking at for the low side. To the high side, we know that, right? 20, like 21, 22, and it's good to go, right? So that's what we're looking at. Watch any other chain link videos. We look at fib extensions, um, you know, break, break hires, <laughs> break hires. Words are hard. Um, anything else you got want to see next for chain link? You know, let me, leave me a comment below. I'm happy to help. Um, how are indicators looking? Well, our strength is also down, but we're still on the bull side of the fence. Usually about 50 area, right? Can divide the bulls and bears. We're, we're creeping that way. We're, we're losing strength, right? Comparative to the rest of the market, your RSI is just your strength compared to, to everything else, right? It's nothing more. So generally, you want to be in coins with a, you know, a higher RSI. Maybe that's contrary to what you believe or what you've been told. RSI, over, over, overbought, oversold. Throw that out the window. It's your strength. If you want to look at overbought, oversold, you, you can look at MFI, which is this golden one down here. Or even better for divergences is OBV, on balance volume. You can add that. Um, another great one, uh, Fisher Transform on the weekly for Chainlink, right? In a downtrend, but guess what? Look at this little move here, right? Nice little nice little uptrend, right? We want to kind of hold that. This is a little concerning that it's put in a higher low here. But maybe in the not so distant future, a couple of weeks, we come down and kind of retest these lows again. Right? Something like that. So watch in the next couple of weeks. Watch what Bitcoin does. If Chainlink's lucky enough, if we're lucky enough to get back, you know, $15, $16 area, dollar cost average, if you're still a, you know, a believer in Chainlink for the future. All right. That's it. What other questions you got? Let me, know, let me, let me message below. I'll try to read all of them. I try to read all comments. I might not respond to all of them, but I've, if you typed it, I read it. All right, uh, let's get to our quote of the day. Uh, no man was ever wise by chance. By Seneca. True story. <laughs> uh, car of the day. McLaren. Nope. McLaren. <laughs> you can tell where my mind's at. Uh, Maserati MC20. It does kind of look like a McLaren um, uh, GT. If you know McLaren GT, that rear end. I was like, hmm. Looks very similar. I think they ripped it off. McLaren GT came out first. All right, the front. Maserati MC20. Pretty good. It's like an orange red. This guy's puzzled. Let's, his wife's even more puzzled. You're not thinking about getting one of these, are you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> My Mickey Mouse voice impression. <laughs> All right. I'll see you on the next one. This this room is still blue. That light is still on. It will remain on this whole bull run. Uh, we need the flannel on. If you want the flannel for these link videos, it's price has got to be blue. Blue skies. 22. Blue at 22. Flannel's on.